So what is going on everyone, it is your boy Kieran the Barber today with a Friday fun day. Today we have some awesome awesome Kelsey on Theo. Theo is my landlord so I have to be nice to him and make, make him look nice and fresh. Um, he's also a builder so you can see I'm using my shark tooth comb which I usually do for styling with. Now why I'm using this is because he has grit and dirt in his hair. Um, his hair even when washed and shampooed it still tends to be quite dry to get through them curls so I use a wider tooth comb what it does is that doesn't pull or hurt so much now starting off with my slimline pro allies I put my guideline in just very very softly tapping that and then I'll remove excess hair from just underneath that line So now straight in with my US Pro Li cordless and my number two magnetic guard. As you guys know, if you watch my videos, I like to remove that bolt first. So I like to get rid of that bolt just to make sure that it's all even playing field as such. And then I can start to do my fade. So then I'll come down with a number one. And I'll just start flicking up on a number one start to see that line slowly decrease because that's what you want you want that line to decrease and then with my US Pro Cordless Allies I will use a number zero and flick between a zero and a half and now with that that will slowly start getting out of that line and start smoothing that out nicely you can see I'm going in all different angles just to try and remove that bulk. And always, always have your little fade, um, fade brush at handy because, as I say in my videos, there could be hair there where it's a dark patch and you'll keep going over and over and over it. And it's actually, it's hair that you've already removed, but it's still there. So just be careful with that. So now onto my clipper over comb. And uh, guys, you know I usually do the... Um, black comb, white comb. It's easier to do black, it's easier to do black comb in light hair and a white comb in dark hair. Unfortunately, me being me, I dropped my white comb. I know, I work for Andis, I'm an Andis educator. Um, but I drop my combs a lot, I'm very clumsy. Um, but I've, I, was, I was going out to Chicago about three or four days after this. Um, so I went and got a load more white combs. But for now, I'm using my black comb and I'm coming up at a 90 degree angle and I'm just removing the rest of that excess bolt just to see that fade start getting in nicely. So now coming in with my Andis full shaver, um, just taking that right down to the bone or right down to the skull, eye is skull fade, just making that nice and sharp and nice and smooth for when we, um, for when the finished haircut obviously is done.
So now, guys, best thing to do is repeat on the, exactly the same side. Just repeat that motion. I just want to let you know. I just want to let you guys know if I sound a bit stuttery or a bit tired. Um, I obviously narrate my videos now, and it's a lot easier to narrate videos. But um, today is Monday, the third of April at ten thirty-two. This is the exact time that I'm narrating. And last night I watched WrestleMania. Now, if you guys in the UK, you will understand WrestleMania doesn't finish till six a.m. So I've had about two hours sleep, but I'm in work because I'm a soldier. And I'm like, I haven't got a client in for the next half an hour, so I thought I'd do some editing. But I just didn't realise how tired I was. <laughs> so thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate all you love, guys. Thank you. Who watches wrestling, by the way? Comment down below. I love wrestling. Like it's my thing, bro. So now onto the sides guys and with my Slimline Pro Allies just pushing that hairline just making sure it is nice and level with the eyebrow as always you don't want to push it further past the eyebrow because then that's when you start to get pushbacks or a slightly bigger forehead and no one wants a slightly bigger forehead. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come away from the beard and I'm going to use my resting finger now people don't know what a resting finger is my resting finger is my middle finger what i rest on the skin so it gives me full control of what i'm doing with the hair i'm going to shape in that beard and then i'm going to cut it down slightly which is awesome
So now with Theo's hair, what I want to be doing is realistically, when I'm cutting the hair, I'm just going to comb that all over to one side so I can start putting in my baseline. Now I want to club cut this. And the reason being why I want to club cut this is because I want to keep the curls nice and heavy. Now with my straight razor from Bluebeards, just make sure you stretch that skin out um, and bring the cut throat towards very gently because you obviously don't want to cut anyone, but keeping that line on that beard nice, tight and sharp. I see just a couple of drags each movement, making that really sharp. Now with my um, trigger happy um, texturizing spray, I'm going to be spraying that into Theo's hair just to enhance his curls before I use my hair dryer. Now the thing is with the hair dryer, you take the nozzle off first and you use your hand as a diffuser. So you can see I've got my hand in like a crab kind of motion. Now with that and then I just spin, spin the hair. And keep it in that sort of way. So with my Glidem High, I love this product for curls. Glidem High. You see how see how well that enhances the curls instantly. Gives them that really nice shine, that really nice finish. So that is a finished product my friends, I really hope you enjoyed my video, I'm going to let you um, watch Theo spin around and make himself look pretty. <laughs> 